greetings. I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're enjoying the blessings God is putting in your life and the people that you have around. I hope you're setting yourself free. I, I hope. I hope that you are enjoying life. Enjoy life, enjoy life, enjoy life. Because your life is precious and you live once, so enjoy it. Uh, you will know, but today I want to share with you uh, some important words that I consider very important words. And there are many important words, but there are these three words that I think they have the power to open up doors and they have the power to close up the doors. You know, it only depends on if you can apply them or if you cannot apply them. And I hope that all of us can be able to apply these three words in our lives because they are very, very, very important words. And these three words are, thank you, please, I am sorry. Thank you, please, I am sorry. Do you know how important it is that you stay thankful in your life? Not only just to God, but to the people around you, to your parents, your brothers, your husband, your wife, your children, that you are thankful. Of course, they may not treat you right. Of course, things may happen that disappoint you. Yeah, that's very true. But can you make a choice? Just make a choice and just be thankful about life. Be thankful about their presence because some people are lonely, have nobody around. But the fact that you have those people around you, be thankful for that. But you know what? Even when you make a choice to live with those people, of course they will continue to hurt you and issues will happen in your life. And so it is important for you to be able to say sorry to them if you hurt them and for them to say sorry for you. But if they don't say sorry, assume that they've said it and live positive like I told you last time, you know? And so, thank you. Thank you, God, for the people you have given to me. Thank you, God, for the life that I have. Thank you. But when things go wrong, or when you make a mistake because you are flesh, be able also to say, I am sorry, God. I am sorry that I messed up the life you gave to me. I am sorry, God, that I couldn't be so productive in the time you gave me the potential to be productive. But also what is very important is that you can say, please, Please, Lord, forgive me. Please, Lord, can I? Please, ma'am, can I have this? Please, children, can you stop doing A and C? Please, government, can you take care of A and A? Please, please. It's a better language to say please than commanding and say, you do this, you do this. You are not good here. You have messed up here. And so, no, I say, please, could you make this a little bit better? Please, can I have A, B, C, D? Please, can I have, you know, soften your hearts and be people that have a welcoming surrounding. Thank you. I am sorry, please. If you choose to practice those words, I can guarantee you that you're going to open up many doors of blessings in your life. And if you choose not to use those words, well, blessings may still come, but you will have a little bit of crushing in life with people and so on. So choose to be thankful, to be repentant, to be humble in your speech. Thank you, please, I'm sorry. God bless you, and I hope that you can start practicing. These are principles of life. I've been practicing these principles. I am still a student of these principles. You know, when I was in the States, when I was doing my bachelor's in theology, uh, I learned a lot. But the most thing that I learned is that thankful people will always have an open arena for God to do more things and the people around them to continue blessing them. Thankful hearts will always, 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 always be a blessing and will be a blessed to the people around them and to themselves. God bless as you live a life that is full of blessings from the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Mm -hmm.